Nico, I know you've been kind of banged up at times this season. How's the, the foot progressing, and how healthy are you at this stage in the game? Um, I'm feeling that 100 percent um, due to the injury, you know, just getting back to um, the groove of things. Um, but yeah, other than that, just getting on the field, having fun with the guys, making plays. I'm happy, happy to be back. Vince and then Ben. Last time you talked to us, you mentioned that you had to get your focus right to get back in, into the lineup and contribute productively. Where are you from that standpoint? Um, I'm, I think I'm back where I was um, before the injury. You know, just going throughout, you know, my preparation stage. You know, um, watching tape, looking for um, different things offense to do, um, and just going out through my, you know, PB technique, um, just doing extra work. Did you go what did you see from Elijah Simmons on Saturday? It seemed like he was playing with more of an edge to him, I guess you could say, than, than we typically see from him. So just did you see that as well? And, and what do you think allowed him to be successful? Oh uh, yeah. Big E this uh past weekend versus UConn, you know, yeah, he I felt him out there a lot, you know. Um I expect that from him a lot, um, in every game, but you know, just being out there because he, he wasn't here. Season, so yeah, I, I think everyone you know felt his presence when he was out there. John, when you have a chance in the fourth quarter, despite the score, to keep a team out of the end zone, how much motivation is that for you guys? Uh, despite it being lopsided there towards the end of the game. Say it again. Just to have an opportunity to keep a team out of the end zone for an entire game, how much? How does that keep your motivation up uh, in the fourth quarter, even though it's a lopsided game? Oh. Um, yeah, it was great to hold them to zero, um, you know, touchdowns, um, especially from the younger guys, you know, holding that expectation and that standard that we set um, is so, is so big um, for what the um, following that for what we have coming up next. You know. Well, Caleb and then Patrick. Nico, obviously three defensive touchdowns on Saturday. What was the atmosphere like in the locker room after, just kind of the message after a performance like that? Um, you know, great job that we executed. You know, we had fun in the locker room, but, um, you know, I think that was really the expectation we came into the game, you know, just to get that taste out of our mouth from the Kentucky game, you know. Um, but in the locker room, you know, um, we have a big game coming up this weekend. So we right next to, you know, we got to be ready for the next game coming up. And that's Missouri. Patrick. How does the Nico look like Ricky Gibson got plenty of playing time on Saturday? Some good plays, good coverage. How have you kind of seen him grow throughout the course of the season? And, and what are you kind of looking for for the next step now? Um, I think with Ricky, you know, he's been playing very good. Um, I've been seeing that since fall camp. You know, he's been a smart kid. Um, but just getting his reps in, um, I think more comfortable moment for him, you know, so he can build that confidence of knowing that he has the ability to make those plays and make even bigger plays to come, you know. Um, but yeah, he's been, a, been playing his, his part big time. Eric. As well. Eric? Two big sixes and both coming from pressure from the guys up front. When they're going, when they're putting pressure on the quarterback, how much easier does that make your job? Make it a lot, 10 times easier. You know, when the guys get in there, putting, that, putting the pressure on the QB, getting them to the ground, hurting them for real. Um, we just want to get that ball out quickly so we can really just play eyes, like zone coverage a lot more and just, you know, be ball hawks. Every game is chippy, but were you at all surprised with how much bad blood there was on Saturday? Uh, yeah, I was actually surprised because, uh, you know, at UConn, you know, they were talking so much trash, but, you know, come talk with trash, you know, when you punch in the mouth, you don't answer as well. So you want to keep, you know, a, a respectful game at the end of the day. But if you want to take it to that type of game, you can do that game. I'll do a few more. We'll do Ben, Vince, and then Patrick. Or West finish it off. So, Nico, what are you seeing from Luca Burton on film and, and just how typical of a challenge to see possess and, and some of those other receivers like Weiss? Uh, just, just how difficult of a challenge of a skill position player for Missouri? Um, I think they have very good skilled players, um, but they haven't seen us yet. You know, we haven't um, been on the field. They haven't saw what we have as well. So, down to Saturday. I want to ask you about another young guy, Jordan Thomas, got plenty of snaps in the game. Where have you seen his game progress? Can you say that again? 
Jordan Thomas, what, where are you seeing his game progress? Um, his game progression, progression, um, same, you know, just having that confidence on the field, just taking a chance of his opportunities. You know, he has got a lot of opportunities to show what he has, but um, he's very intelligent as well, you know, playing safety and star. You know, that's not nothing easy, you know, because um, he has a lot more um, things to look at, things to read. Um, but yeah, he, he's a physical guy. See that on tape as well. Um, but yeah, he's coming along. Wes, last question. I think obviously, you know, last season y'all were in that national title mix right until the, the last couple weeks or last week of the year there. And then you wanted to be in that position again this season, got a couple early losses. What allowed a team in a position like that to kind of keep fighting and keep plugging away? Because maybe other teams would have backed off a little bit at that point, but it seemed like y'all have kept working and gotten better. Um, what keeps us going is, you know, um, we want to make history. You know? We want to have our names put on that board um, for winning the national championship in Tennessee. You know, we want to go down in history. We want to be great. You know, you want to you know, put your brother on the map as well. So we're doing it just for more than um, ourselves. So I think that just goes to show, you know, um, just stand with, you know, Coach Hype and that team, team set. And that's what we want to focus on. Thank you.